And we are live, I think. I think I turned the chats on correctly this time. I got in trouble last time because I installed the brand new, or brand new to me, uh, Super Chat. And apparently I pushed the wrong tab and it made it to where nobody could there we are there okay i did it right did i did it right yes i see people are commenting okay i wasn't trying to exclude anybody last time intentionally it's just how it happened okay this is the podcast probably the poorly produced podcast in podcast history uh my channel is about to hit 300,000 subscribers i'm in the parking lot of the Popeye's Chicken, brought to you by Popeye's Chicken, and Dad's surviving divorce, so Dwayne at DSD. How's my day going? It has been tough. We moved yesterday, or day before and yesterday. The boys helped me, uh, the boys helped me, and I, I, I couldn't have done it without them. So, that being said, I hate moving. I, oh, thank you, Mariah. Uh, I hate moving. I've added it up, and I think this is the 24th move I've done so far in my adult life. When I was a child, I think I moved about four times is all. But since I've been a legal adult, I've moved about 24 times. And I hate moving. Because now, the older I get, I have got so much crap that I have been collecting for decades. Not years, not singular, but plural decades. That was my best Severus Snape, by the way. Decades. And if you're a Harry Potter fan, you know exactly who Severus Snape is, because I'm a Harry Potter junkie. Um, so yeah, uh, we got moved and it, I'm tired, I'm beat, but I'm glad to be where I'm at. And Becca Boo, bless you, thank you, cool. I just got a $1.99 chip. I don't know, you know, I'm so new to this, I don't even know how, if that's a super chat or if that's a, I'm not even sure, but thank you, I appreciate it. Um, so I, I got moved in and... I have to, I have to say something. I have to uh, make a, an announcement, I guess you could say, that I normally wouldn't do, like air my dirty laundry. Contrary to what many people think, oh, that's all you wanna do is air out your dirty laundry and get paid on YouTube. My adult life, particularly as a father, has been centered around my children making sure since the divorce in 2007 that they knew who their dad was they didn't have to guess it wasn't one of those see in 20 years and then I think I remember you vaguely when I was like five I never wanted that and as if you're watching this then you probably know the most of my story yeah, I went to drastic measures, and I to because it, I was in a buy. It was it was hard. I'm not going to go into all that. Again, I wouldn't normally say this, but I feel like I, I kind of need to because I don't like to focus on my critics. But there are people with legit concerns. Because I get it. There's lots of crooks out there. A lot of crooks out there. People say bull crap that they don't even mean or believe or even do. They just make crap up. So, one of a criticism is you're exploiting your children. Well, I've, I've covered that. What I've done is put me in the position I'm at. For 25 years... As an adult, I was a Caterpillar diesel engine field service mechanic. And 
and I am no longer that. I retired, I guess you could say, not in the most glamorous way, but you know, with the shutdown, everything went to crap. I moved away. I was traveling back and forth a week or two in Odessa for work, come back, be around the kids in the Conroe, Texas area, which is where I'm at now. And, uh, man, this is tough. Um, I, uh, Parker and I had a falling out. And he hadn't talked to me in almost two months. And that is all I'm going to say about that. Of course, there are a lot of details. And yes, I am hiding a lot of details. And I have got reasons for hiding lots of details. It's called having a private life. As public as I have made my life, believe it or not, I do have a private life. And it involves the people that I'm closest to. That being said, I love all four of my children as much today as I did the day when I cut all four of their little umbilical cords. That will never change. Um, this is also now my career. When I was a young man, I didn't, I've said this before, I didn't grow up and say, hey, I want to be an activist, a broke-ass activist, and get on YouTube and do podcasts for a living. I never asked. I, I didn't want that. That was never a dream of mine. Yet, here I am. And I will no longer talk about certain things. It's no big secret. One of the biggest questions I get is, how's Parker? Or how are the kids? But generally, how's Parker? And my answer to that is, Parker is fine. And that will always be my answer or that's the plan for now I'm not gonna read out comments about that if I accidentally if I'm reading through a bunch of them my answer is Parker's fine uh, that being said since this is my life now uh, I will continue to talk to people who want to, to reach out to me, who want to talk to me, whether it's get things off their chest to somebody who's also been in the trenches in the family court. I will continue to reply to emails and to messages regarding, regarding what I have been through and listen to them. And this is the strangest business model I've ever, ever done because I'm not sending anyone an invoice. When I was a contract mechanic, every hour I was on the job. From the time I got the phone call, hey Caleb, we're two hours away and our engine's broke. Get out of here, man. We need you. That's when my clock started. I charged for every single hour. I charged for every single mile driven. I sent them an invoice and they paid. With my new business model this one I've answered thousands of emails talked to I don't know how many people on the phone and not once have I sent an invoice because like I've said before if you're reaching out to me it's because you're broke more than likely it's because you've been screwed over in the family court as well there's no way I could charge for what I do, yet I love doing it. And I'm not tooting my own horn, but I'm saying there isn't obviously a demand, or you wouldn't even be watching me. There's only one reason any of you watching this is watching this and even knows who I am is because of what I did in the past. I don't have any regrets. I've made mistakes. There are things, small things, I wished I've not, I would have changed that I can talk about in other episodes later. But for now, um, 
I will continue to do my job. And people are going to say, I can't believe you're making money off of this. You dirty, you must be a scoundrel. I'm trained to notice a narcissist. You're playing the victim. Well, no. Like I said, I'm not sending anybody an invoice. I'm talking about my experience. And if people want to talk to me after I've made, you know, message back and forth, made sure you're not a troll, I'm happy to talk to people and give away my time for free. However, this single wide trailer house that I'm now renting, this box that has central air in the south or the east Texas heat, ain't free. I have bills. When I wanna eat, it costs me money. So for the people who are donating here or the people who donate through my Patreon, or the people, I'll have the, oh, I forgot to put all my links in here. I'll put all the links once it goes, uh, once it goes online for Cash App, PayPal, uh, Bitcoin, if there's any Bitcoin people. And because not everybody that watches me is broke. The people that reach out to me probably are, but there's some people who aren't, who like what I do. And they'll throw me some coin. And I say to that, thank you. I appreciate it. How long are we into this? We're in, hey Chase, thanks so much. We're only 11 minutes in. I don't know if my little phone's overheating. I'm in my little car this time. I didn't bring the big truck. And the air conditioner blows on the back of it, so it seems to do a little bit better. So yeah, I'm going to continue doing what I do. I'm going to continue doing, I thoroughly enjoy doing these. These are fun. I've not read a lot of the comments so far, but I had to get this off my chest. And I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. I'm not gonna post about it anywhere. There's obviously something that happened that I'm not gonna talk about because that's my private life. That's my private business. And it involves people because I've got relationships with kids and people I know and everything. So um, I, I just wanted to get that off my chest and make make it just make it real clear to the people who are think, thinking, you know, I don't know about this guy. Obviously, I've got problems just like everybody else. My life is not, you know, roses and all the happy things you can think of, butterflies. And yes, I do hide things because I have a private life. So. Anyway, um, oh man, people are talking and I'm getting, I'm getting email notifications and chat notifications and message notifications and well, it's a bunch to take in. I'm going to get better at this. My goal is to obviously in the new house set up a, I've got, it's the small three bedroom, but I've got a, a third bedroom set up a little studio with a little bit better equipment, a little bit better lighting instead of these <laughs> but for now it works and yeah it's still getting a little warm I don't know how much longer it's gonna last but as an idea I've I keep bringing up Harry Potter and I don't know how many how many I'm gonna start reading some some comments here Harry Potter fans do I have any Potter heads in the audience Thumbs up, yes, hey, no, I don't know. We got any Harry Potter fans? Yes, no? Um, just talk, oh, got one, Shadow, yes. Maya, yes. Commander Harry, ooh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Liam, yes, okay, cool. Here's my idea. I wanna do, uh, I don't know, a, a regular podcast to where Occasionally, I don't talk about the family court because believe it or not, I don't rise in the morning, go to bed and work all day at night. I don't, I don't just revolve around family court, even though people here, that's mostly what I talk about. So that's what, you know, they might assume. I love Harry Potter. I've read all but the last two books. I've sort of kind of intentionally not read the last two books because I've, 
I, I just want to wait for the perfect right time. So what I want to do, I don't know if it'd be once a week, once a month. What would y'all think of once a month we get to talk only about all things Harry Potter? And the reason, one of the reasons I love Harry Potter, other than the obvious, is it's such a grand story that reflects life. Yes, there's no such thing as real wizards and spells and all that, but the relationships are real. Professor Snape, you think he's just the most evil, awful, disgusting person ever. Neville Longbottom made it clear that he that was his most feared person. And he turns out he was the bravest, greatest guy ever. In fact, Harry even named one his own son after him. So I, being a fan of Harry Potter, and I watch the movies all the time, at least three or four times a week, I've got it on usually to go to sleep. I love it. However, I know for a fact that there are a lot of people out there that are have been reading the books and watching starting 20 years ago. I only started about two years ago. So I am interested in talking to you on certain things about how much you know about the books, how many times you've read them, how you felt, the characters themselves. I've, I've, I've talked to people who might have watched Harry Potter years ago once and said, yeah, it's cool, Dumbledore's great. And if you think about it, yes, Dumbledore is great, but Dumbledore is also, he's kind of a selfish dick in, in some areas. You know, well, we, we'll, we'll get into it later, but I did, so I did get a bunch of thumbs up. People would want to watch a Harry Potter podcast. Let's say for now, we'll try to do it once a month. I don't even know how often I'm going to be able to do these, like five days a week, one day a week, two days, I, I don't know. Right now, I'm just doing it on the fly. Just because there's so much going on, and I'm, but now that I'm in this house and things are gonna settle down, uh, I think it'd be fun. Commander Harry, Caleb, you have a really nice personality. Well, thank you. Peach Cascade, twice a month or we unsub. <laughs> I like that. All right, twice a month. Uh, don't look at my profile picture. Caleb, okay, we love you and what you do and keep up the good work. You will get blessed for all the time you have used to help other people. Thank you very much. I hope so. I hope you're right. How are you doing? I've been moving. Okay, LB UK here, seeing you from the start. Always been on your mindset. Cool. Nice, thank you. Melissa Hedgecock, I will email, email you later. Okay, thank you. Maya, I mean, dear old dad. Yeah, I am old. See, in the future, I wanna have like a regular laptop at a desk. Then I can just scroll and I'll have this big screen. I'm not up there squinting. I'll have this big, nice screen and I can see everything. So, well, we're coming up on 20 minutes here. Well, 1831. So I'm going to get back. I've got a jillion boxes still to unpack and stuff to do. But thanks so much. Um, this was tough for me, but... Again, I'm not gonna. I'm just not gonna talk about it anymore. Uh, do I smoke? No, I do not smoke. I used to smoke. I quit about eight years ago. Best thing I ever did. So, you know what? Oh, oh, hang on. Cop Shadow. Who's your favorite Harry Potter character? Honestly, I think my favorite Harry Potter ca character. I've got several of them, but I think it's Dobby. He's a little annoying, especially in the beginning, but he's just absolutely adorable. And if you ask me, he's more powerful of a wizard than a lot of the wizards. I mean, he snaps his fingers. He doesn't even have to have a wand. He snaps his fingers. He takes a wand from Death Eaters. So, yeah, I think Dobby. And if you think about it, if it wasn't for Dobby, they would all have died. There, there wouldn't, there wouldn't even be. They couldn't have finished the movies. Dobby saved their asses numerous times. 
again, I know he's a little annoying at first, but he's just so loyal. And when Dobby dies, oh, I've watched it at least 50 times, maybe a hundred. I tear up every time. I hate it when Dobby dies. I just JK Rowling, damn you for killing off Dobby. <laughs> And damn you for killing off Sirius Black. And damn you for killing off Snape. Snape was a really good guy. I, I didn't even catch on to this until I'd watched it a bunch of times. Snape could have thrown Draco Malfoy under the bus. Like right before Voldemort slit his throat. He could have thrown him under the bus because he knew that the wand did not belong to him. That it belonged to Draco because Draco is who took the wand from Dumbledore but he kept his mouth shut knowing he's about to die he could have thrown him on the bus and said hey my lord Draco disarmed Dumbledore but he knew that he knew it Voldemort would do he'd kill him even though a little shit probably not, I wouldn't say he deserved it but you know Draco, Draco's such a little prick <laughs> Dobby loves Harry Potter. That's right. Dobby will do anything to save his friend Harry Potter and his friends. Caleb, do you have any tips for driver's test? No. All right, Cole. If you're at 21 minutes, I'm really going to let y'all go. Peace, love, dogs. Y'all be good. Um, I'm going to have the links to, if y'all want to chip in, thank you people for who did chip in tonight i do appreciate it and this will be live on my channel if you want to go rewatch here and it takes anywhere from three to eight hours it's all on youtube but it, 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 it's on their end so anyway love y'all thanks bye